Hello! Today I'm going to be opening a scroller box. As well as my monthly subscription, I back ordered a bunch of boxes from previous years with stuff in them that looked really fun because I have a bit of a problem. We're going to open it, have a look, see what's in it and make something. This is the May 2019 box. Let's have a look. First, I like to have a look at the featured artist, C. Mitchell. Look at that, that's super cool. His artwork is comical and colourful with lots of character. I'll say, he also loves to hear from people who enjoy his work, so feel free to say hello! You can find C. Michelle on Instagram. Ooh, magical technology! Here's this month's sticker. I'm noticing a tiger theme, there's stripes on here, and there's a tiger on the featured art. I love shaky pens! Those are, those are very nice colours. More shaky markers! We also have, ooh, liquid chrome 20 years edition. Ooh. A pencil and an eraser. And of course, because Scrawlerbox always has, a little sweet! This is a mint toffee, but no sweet until I finish the art. That is my rule. That is my Scrawlerbox rule. So, let us consult the menu! Four Pilot Pinto markers, suitable for use on all surfaces. All surfaces, you say? <laughs> Might have to do some experimenting with those later. The liquid chrome marker, the ink in this pen has a true chrome finish. Snazzy. Ooh, and there's paper. Ooh, two sheets only. That puts the pressure on. Along with the art supplies and the sweetie and the sticker, you also get the Scrawler Challenge. If you are subscribed to Scrawler Box and you do the prompt in the month you receive the box, you have the chance to be featured in the next month's zine, which is very exciting. Obviously, we don't have that option with this one because it's last year's box. I still like the idea of having a go at the prompt with these supplies. The prompt from this box is Paper Tiger. I was right, there is a tiger theme! Tiger theme. Tiger theme. Okay. Well, what I would normally do is swatch the materials onto the paper that comes in the box, but with only two sheets, I don't want to do that. So instead, I'm going to swatch into my sketchbook. Swatching is when you put a little bit of the material you're going to use onto the paper you're likely to use, so you get a real idea of the true colour and consistency and how the material behaves. It's just generally good to have a play around and experiment with your materials before you do anything really serious with them. Play first. Oh, my alarms! Alarms! Ugh. It's my go back to work alarm. Snooze. <laughs> I think for swatching, an aerial view. Let's get swatching! Pilot Pinto markers. Gold. First with these you need to pump them. You can see it just starting to flow down the pen, like so. Lovely. Oh, see how shiny that is? That is gorgeous. I think I'm going to enjoy these. Just love seeing it travel down the pen nib. There's just something real pleasing about that. Oh, these are nice. Next, pump until ink flow. White. Now you can't see that very well on here, but we'll fix that in a moment. I want to see this liquid chrome at work. Oh, oh, mate, they were not kidding about this. Ooh, look how shiny that is. Oh, this is going to be fun. The next thing to experiment with. Give that a minute to dry. Drink your tea. Mmm. Not done yet. Tried and tested artistic technique for drying quickly. <gasps> Use the N64 cartridge technique. How many of you are old enough to know what that means? Still wet. So the gold takes the longest to dry. Close enough. This sort of thing is a good reference for being able to see how well your markers will show up on top of each other. Man, that silver chrome finish, they were not lying! Swatching is essentially a way of information gathering about your materials and how well they play together, because sometimes they really don't. But these ones do, these ones play together very nicely. I love the gold on top of the green. I love that very much. This, this is beautiful. I like this, I like this very much. Your next step is planning, or you can just dive straight in and play. It's entirely up to you. I'm already thinking some sort of origami theme. Obviously stripes. We don't actually have an orange, so I'm going to have to play with the colours. I want to make like a real blocky... Make it out of shapes. 
And we'll have the tail, we'll do something fun with the tail later. I like where we're heading, I like where we're heading. I don't like where we're at, but I like where we're heading. They also have stripes on the face, I believe. Tail, what am I gonna do with the tail? Hmm. I want rounded, that paper, so give that paper feel. I don't want sharp edges, I want sort of rounded edges. Yeah, see this is good. Maybe, I don't know, I'm not sold. Okay, but this sort of, this sort of thing, this is, this is the kind of thing we're going for. Psych, I changed my mind. <laughs> this happens a lot in the planning procedure. I have an idea, I think it's a good idea, some time passes, I change the idea. I think I have an idea of what I'm gonna do. It's very simple, but that's okay. Let's get making. So here I start sketching out the idea. As you can see, I'm using a ruler, um, I'm trying to get some straight lines. My idea is still very geometric, I've stuck with that, but I've simplified it down even further, which you'll see in a minute. I also keep getting my head in the camera, sorry about that, you'll see the back of my head several times during this video. But there you can see now emerging, I've got this idea for a much more simplified origami tiger idea. Uh, so I'm sketching that out, I spend quite some time on the head because it drove me nuts. And then I block out the background with the green, because I still really liked the green, and I liked how all the other colours looked on top of the green, and um, in contrast to the green, so I decided to have the green as the main background. You may, you may notice straight away there's a mistake. <laughs> I've done the nose, the tail was intentionally over the edge, but the nose wasn't really meant to be over the edge. Um, I as you can see, I don't know really what to do with that right now. I don't decide on that till later. Here we shift over to the black and I decide I want the main body of the tiger to be black. Um, so I am blocking all of that in and shading all of that in and this takes a very, very long time. And I have to move the paper around a lot so that I don't smudge it or anything. And yes, this just, this takes, this takes a little while. Um, also you don't see because I edit it out, but between, um, bits I actually leave it to dry so if you see any lighting changes that's why this took me sort of a few hours of occasionally colouring for a bit and then leaving for a bit. I've done the stripes in that lovely silver and some highlights and details in white and now I'm going in the outline with gold. Um, I also decided to add some detail to the background uh, with the little gold dots and this is just me going over the scales again with the scales the stripes again which I do several times um, I use the white pen for again more details more highlights just to make it pop a little bit more add a silver border around the edge fix that little bit where it go where the nose goes over and then just add a title the lighting's a bit weird, the colours are a bit um, more vivid in person and they appear to be showing up on the camera, but that's my paper tiger! Thank you Scrollerbox! Thank you for these awesome supplies, they are amazing and I'm looking forward to having a lot of fun with those. Here is my paper tiger. He's so shiny, look how shiny that is! This means I'm allowed my sweet! Oh, oh, oh dear, oh dear! Oh, oh, oh no, oh no! <laughs> Uh, I might have left this for a bit long in a very warm room. Oh. <laughs> hmm, okay, we'll try a little bit. Um, minty and toffee. I might go put this in the fridge so that it solidifies a bit before I finish it. Mint and toffee are a bit of an odd combo, but still pleasant. If you want to take part in my weekly challenge, I'm going to steal Scrawlerbox's idea. <laughs> I'd love to see your version of the prompt paper tiger. Of course, you guys are unlikely to have the specific scroller box supplies I have used. Feel free to do whatever, whatever medium you like. Collage, watercolor, gouache, markers, pencil, crayon, anything. Make a piece with the prompt paper tiger and share it with me. I have Instagram, I have TikTok, I have a Facebook page, I have Twitter, I even have a PO box. If you want to send me like a photo or a scan of it or something, have fun this week guys. Stay crafty, stay creative, get your art and gear, all that jazz. Catch you next week. Rawr.